Hey guys, I just wanted to give you an update of my caffeine story. So I have continued to not have any kind of caffeine such as uh, coffee and chocolate and certain teas. So it's been working really well for me. My inflammation has completely fixed itself and I no longer have any inflammation in my foot. I did a uh, really, really long walk today, no pain whatsoever, and yeah, just feeling really great, so definitely going to continue this. About a month after I quit caffeine, I also decided to quit sugars, so I wasn't having refined sugars already, but I was having like what I considered healthy sugars, such as honey, coconut sugar, and maple syrup, and I was having those on a daily basis, so... I think that was also a trigger because I noticed when I quit caffeine that I did get like a little bit of inflammation come back but not as much as before like way way less and it started to come back so that's why I started, decided to quit all forms of sugar to see if that would help me as well and the only sugar I'm having is those that are from whole foods such as fruits and obviously carbs, carbohydrates, but no kind of added sugars. So I do eat a lot of, um, uh, yeah, a lot of fruits now. So I love strawberries, blueberries, mandarins. My favorite is passion fruit. So I tend to eat a lot of those for desserts. And I did try some really, um, um, some really fun muffins. So I made them with dates and You can actually I put them in the blender But I think what I should have done which I've seen before is you heat the dates up in a bit of water and you kind of bring them to a boil and then you can mix them together and Make like a date paste. So I think that would be more effective because I don't think my um, <laughs> Dates can be quite hard and when you put them in a blender, they sort of go all over the place and you, they come out in little bits rather than forming a paste. So yeah, I'm gonna try that next time. But I did make some muffins and my husband really, really loved the muffins. So that is what I've been doing. And yeah, I just wanna give you guys an update of where I'm up to and how it's all going for me. But yeah, really great results and I'm gonna be continuing. So the, yeah, the, I guess the other reason I decided to quit sugar as well was because of my teeth. So the doctor told me I had a few cavities as well and I wanted to see if that would help. And I haven't had any kind of pain in my teeth, no cavity pain. Um, usually when you get pain, I guess it signifies that the cavity is getting worse, but haven't had any pain. So it's all uh, looking, looking good. And about it if there's oh yeah the other thing which I noticed was that I actually now feel less thirsty as well so I would try and drink like about two cups of water per meal before but now I'm feeling a lot more hydrated from the vegetables and fruits and I'm finding that I don't have to drink as much water as I did before so I'm feeling a lot more hydrated I feel like my skin is a bit nicer as well. So just improvements I've noticed in my skin and like I'm not wearing any makeup right now. So I just feel like my skin is looking like better than it was before. And yeah, those are pretty much all the updates. Um, and also I did notice my hair color. I have a few more sort of highlights in my hair. You can see at the back there, there's a few sort of highlights, but I'm not sure if that's also because I'm on a kosher style diet as well. So, but I guess like every little bit counts. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on everything that has been going on for me and the great results I have from Pink Happy.